Howdy, everybody, and I finally got my first real nuke. I didn't expect myself to get it in this game and in these two tanks. Now, this game was really long. It was almost 20 minutes long, so I chopped this thing up to only really the good parts, I suppose. Uh, and I did it in the AMX-30. Now, two different AMX-30s, but they're essentially the exact same tank, except the 1972 version gets the 20mm coaxial, and the Premium 7.7 does not. The good thing about this 20mm is that it gets a lot of penetration. It gets almost 60 millimeters flat at 90 degrees, at, at like 10 meters or something like that, and obviously it drops over. It, it alternates between HVAP and HE, so uh, the fire rate's pretty good, so if you have a lightly armored tank, you're going to be able to penetrate it, and I use it pretty often. You're going to see me kill a, uh, well, it's an M56. I could have done that with a 50 cal or a 7.62, but um, especially BMPs at this battle rate, and you'll be able to shoot through them on the sides, and it's really useful. And like I, as you can see, the fire rate's pretty good to be able to keep up. It it can overheat. So it's better to kind of do it in uh, short to medium bursts and not hold it down the whole time. And the cool thing about this 20 millimeter is that it, it can uh, depress and elevate independently from the gun, meaning that it, it can elevate higher than the gun, which makes it very useful for shooting out planes and helicopters to get too close, where you don't really have to rely on how high your barrel can aim because the 20 millimeter can aim up higher than the... Um, barrel can so you don't really have to worry about elevating your or like artificially elevating your tank to be able to aim higher so as you can see I'm getting shot a lot and I don't really understand how these guys didn't kill me because AMX is not very hard to kill whatsoever they just never hit me good enough to take out my gun or be able to kill me in one shot now probably the biggest thing you're gonna have to worry about when you're playing the AMX is tanks with ERA I'm shooting at a Magok 3 right now and I only get one through him I hit his ERA on the upper plate as you can see just now and it didn't do anything to him but I did get one through his lower and the ERA didn't stop it the round that the AMX gets, uh, you only get two, you get an HE or you get a heat round. Now it's different for the 8.3 AMX, um, it gets a APF SDS, but unlike the Leopard or the Patton or the Centurion, they get APDS rounds and fin stabilized heat, where this is still a rifled gun and it only gets a uh, heat round or an HE. But it's not really that big of an issue. You just got to get used to, to how this gun performs. And as you can see, I'm trying to kill that BMP with a uh, with the 20 mil, and I'm only hitting this turret. But with what little I did hit him with, it did take out his ATGM. So it does do very well against lightly armored vehicles like that. Also, I have this really neat user skin for it. Uh, I got out of one of the box. I don't remember what box it's in. And if you're wondering, uh, custom site on the War Thunder Live, I recommend using this one because it does account for like HE, the 20 mil, everything like that. I really like using custom sites for the uh, any tank that I, I use if I if there's one available. Um, I just like that. It just makes it a little bit neater when you're playing everything instead of having just the regular run-of-the-mill sight on it. Now, I've cut to the part where after I get one of my crew members back and there's a Centurion Action X, and this is to show that the post-pin damage sometimes is not that great for these rounds, and uh, this is my fault. I could have just shot him in the side and killed him, but I didn't. And I went to shoot right up the middle, and all it did was kill his driver and didn't do anything else to him, and he kills me in one shot. Now, I'm going to cut to me in the next AMX, and this is the point where I get all of my points. Now, I had a lot 
in the Amex 30 1972, but this second part of the game is where I get all of them. This is where I get all of my kills, and it's really weird. I've noticed something, and I don't know if this is a change or it's just because I'm noticing it more because of the tanks I'm fighting or it's because I'm using a heat round or what the deal is, but I've noticed that uh, fuel tanks seem to be detonating a whole lot more often, and I don't know if that's a real change or anybody else has really noticed it, but I kind of think that it has to do with the fact that I'm using chemical round and I'm fighting T-54s and it's really easy to hit their fuel tank and it's just causing them to explode a lot um, easier. Uh, I Personally, I, I don't know. I didn't see it as a change. But as you can see right there, I shot through that bush and detonated that guy's fuel tank. This was a change a while back where bushes, they're not as sensitive chemical rounds aren't as sensitive to shooting through uh, certain kinds of shrubs and bushes. Now, if you hit a like the center of a thick one, it's going to detonate, and you're going to see that here shortly where I do that. But um, I do it relatively often that if it's not a super thick bush or anything like that, I fire through it like I did on that dude I honestly didn't expect it to travel through all of them and hit him but it did and one of the good things about shooting a heat round on this vehicle is that you're gonna see it here in a minute where I shoot the radar of a ZSU 37 and it kills the entire crew due to the new HE mechanics that was put in and um, Nary is stopping the town right here to fix my radiator. But I just said something about the fuel tanks exploding more often. <laughs> and um, I get shot here in a minute by a T-54. And my fuel tank eats it without exploding. It just sets me on fire. Now, I just don't know what is causing. I, I don't know how I got lucky and these guys didn't. But... Um, I'm getting ready to get shot here in a second, and he had every opportunity to kill me, and all he did was bounce off of me, and it did absolutely nothing just now. And I turn at him, and post-pin damage only gets his track, kind of, and kills his driver. He blows smoke, and he can't see me, and I shoot him again, and same thing. I only get one crew member. But a T another T-54 that was behind me shoots me, and like I just said, all it did was light me on fire. And it really do nothing to me. And I finish him in a second, too. And, and these tanks not having a stabilizer is kind of... Um, can be kind of annoying, but it, it, you get used to it. Being able to fire slowly on the move without one. You just gotta time it when the gun bounces. But here's the shot that I'm talking about. I hit too close to the middle, and it detonates on the bush and doesn't do anything to him. I blow smoke so he doesn't kill me. Um, but I don't even think he saw where I was sitting anyways. And I just back up, and I think he's still looking at the smoke. And I put one right through his side and kill him. So... I am pretty close to where their spawn is on this side of the map, and it seemed that more of them were spawning on this side than anywhere else. And I was going to try to just run into the cap and, un and start the countdown, or not countdown, but decap of it, but I, I didn't. And I didn't know there was a T-54 in this bush at the minute, or a tree line, but he didn't see me. And I didn't realize how many of them were down there. So I looked back at the replay. But here's that ZSU. And I didn't expect it to work. But I've done this a handful of times. And I hit it through the bush. Somehow threaded the needle. And I killed his entire crew. And I didn't see that T-54 until he ran over something. I think he hit a tree and that's what caught me, caught my attention on him. And get him in one shot. And there's an IS-3. And he bounces off of me. I'm not sure what he hit. I think he hit my upper plate just right. And it ricocheted it. 
And good thing about having a 400 pin heat round is uh, I managed to get through his turret. But the Centurion 3 is going to get me. And he's going to kill me here in a second. Right about. Nah, he didn't get me yet. I don't know what I'm getting shot at, by the way. And then I get killed. Actually, I think a ZSU-57 is what killed me and not that Centurion. Now looking at the battle thing down the bottom. But here's the point where I actually started recording. Because that's when I realized I had the nuke. And I had plenty of time to drop it. I really didn't expect to get it, like I said. And I've never flown this plane before. And... I'm glad that this was as fast as it was because you have to take off from the airfield which I feel like the lower tier nuclear planes like the B-29 didn't have to drop or not drop but uh, didn't have to fly from the airfield because of how slow it is but I guess balance reasons but I'm glad at this tier the Canberra is what I get to fly <laughs> because uh it speeds up pretty quickly and I knew that they had a radar guided AA so I stayed relatively close to the ground so I didn't have to worry about getting shot down by them now they did have a Su-9 up I think it's an Su-9 and I was hoping that he didn't see me coming and get ready to shoot me down I'm pretty sure they could hear the nuclear sirens going off so I'm pretty sure they knew that I was coming with it I don't think they knew where I was coming from though and I really wanted to make sure that I had uh, the ability to drop it so I didn't take a, a, a detour or come in at a different angle. So I just stayed really low to the ground and cal uh, got my speed up. And I didn't realize you had to be like dead on the battlefield to drop it. I, I thought you could be a little bit off to the corner, but no, you have to be almost in the center, like within the it, with way within the bounds to drop it. And the... SU-9 is getting ready to fly right by me on the right side, and I think he realized that at that point that 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 was me dropping it, and I uh, got it in, and boom. It's so pretty. <laughs> uh, first time I've ever seen it in-game happened to be the one that I got. I got a lot of medals for this game as well. The explosion is like really really cool they did a good job with the uh, nuclear explosion and as you see nine kills six assists and only two deaths and 4100 score and a shit ton of medals show you the after action for the game to show you how much silver lions I got in research I got around 147,000 and just under 15,000 research that game which honestly if I, I wish I would have played a booster I would have probably got so much more but I didn't but I'm not going to complain that is a lot of money so anyways guys I hope you enjoyed as much as I enjoyed getting it and I'll be trying to do it again sometime so anyways guys I will see y'all later